I think it ultimately forces better ethical standards on our politicians. Liking courses on Facebook does nothing. People think they're solving the world's problems when they click a button. But what, you, what have you done? The, the very button that you have pressed isn't actually a real button. It's but pixels on a screen generated by a computer in a warehouse in a country where electricity is cheap. It is a pain in the ass for politicians, the internet. So the internet is destroying the media, it's destroying the fourth estate. That's bad for an informed voting public and in turn that's terrible for democracy. Stop. I think we get about over 15 videos are in excess and sort of, as a director, I was, you know, and you could look at that and say I was in love with Michael, you know? You can't reverse engineer this shit. And if you look over the history of what's done well on the internet, not just a music video, but any kind of video, you can't predict it. Something is nothing is what you have. There's so much, so much better than that. I remember catching the bus to a meeting with my record company and then going out on the road and losing $25,000 on a tour and then two weeks later my record going gold. I could feel you changing the shape of my brain. What more could you ask for in a song? Wouldn't it have been nice to have written Give Peace a Chance? I wonder if I would have cried as much writing it as I did the first time I understood it. And what I love about it most is such a depressing sentiment, so party, and it basically forgives you for everything you've ever done. How do you talk yourself up if you're God? Well, fucking, I've got the... You, I've got you can only talk yourself down. You can only be like, yeah, no, I'm not always infallible. Oh. Did you say pill song? Pill song. Yeah, right. It is true that they do it and they, they drop some pills, they take to hills on and they just get into the rapture. So, yeah, sometimes I do think even from an atheist, secular, rationalist perspective, sometimes religion's good for people because, you know, it's better than, like, being a heroin addict, for instance. And so, like, Are they the only options? I mean, some songs can move you so you feel an emotion, and other experiences actually give you emotions in which you can feel other things. And I think that's true of good religion as well. And ultimately, I think democracy, when done properly, um, is an education tool as well as um, being able to create a worldwide dialogue of how the fuck we get along. So once I sort of purified my musical mind again and got back to the same guy who made demos in his bedroom, if nothing good ever happens again. If I never sell another record, I never sell another ticket. I've had a great ride, and if this is the end, it's the end, and all of a sudden everything started getting great again. We were not going to get booked on shows. We were not going to get our record played on radio. It was like, fuck, we've fought for, what, fucking 15 years to get a deal in America. Here, cool, here's the dream. Oh, you're not allowed to have it unless you change your name. And what's going to be the, the biggest issue facing the world over the next 10 years? I'll say food. It's entirely possible if we have the political will and the social organisation to do it, and that's really the challenge. Enough sun shines on Australia in one summer's day to produce enough energy to power this planet for a year. So what the fuck are we waiting for? And by the way, the kids' parents, when my dad explained everything to them, the kids' parents were like, oh, we don't give a shit. My dad was like, that's why your kids are a little fucktard. Like, take some responsibility. So living in an all-male household makes me want to get a t-shirt printed that just says, where have you looked? You know, Steve Jobs is probably running the whole joint by now. He would have got up there, he'd be like, God, I love what you've done with the place, all white. In the cloud, very modern. It's the cultural hub of Splendor. 